prepare well uh, your work. Everything, whatever, everything we do, we must organize it. Yeah, we must organize it. Uh, our uh, our work. <coughs> so today, uh, can you see the lecture? <coughs> okay. So this is my topic today. I would like to share on the landscape graphic and presentation technique. Last time I already demonstrated some coloring. So I hope that you are, uh, uh, of course, when we, if you're using computer easily that you can have a, a borrowed image, you can uh, cut and paste, you can reorganize the uh, graphic uh, photo using a photo montage technique. But manual, you need to color, all right? You need to color manually. So, <clears throat> There are uh, several example of uh, uh, graphic in in the uh, landscape architecture drawings. So <clears throat> you can have a kind of quick idea sketch, right? This is kind of schematic plan to show up your ideas. So it's not yet uh, you can't see uh, detail on the uh, features, detail on the layout, right? Detail on the uh, building pathway. It's just a zoning, but you also can add on some. Uh, for example, you want to have uh, to show some green uh, water, so you're using a blue color arrows to show the circulation. So you can see the spine in the middle there, then you can see the that's the main circulation. Then you can also uh, see. Uh, can you see this uh, in the pop in the presentation mode? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Because now I'm using this pointer. If I'm using this, the slide, uh, the slide mode. So maybe it's hard for me to use um a pointer. Is is we cannot use pointer. So in the middle here, that is the main circulation, and you can see the space is around this uh, main uh, corridor. So this is how we digest first in the early stage of our schematic ideas, <clears throat> all right? So maybe here, uh, visual, some connection. So you can show it in the context of uh, a symbol, in the context of uh, writing, you can see writing, right? So uh, you, you can see also the contour line there, right? Uh, and then you can put some light color on it, right? So this is some example of the schematic. Schematic, actually you can play around one or two option, three options to show in the early stage of your uh, design uh, framework. Can you see the next slide? I already moved to my second slide. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So this is all the schematic plan. So the schematic plan normally we use uh, some symbol, line, right, uh, form. And also, uh, you can see some labeling, landscape, vertical, landmark feature. We just, we need to put all these labels. That's why handwriting, uh, freehand, freehand is very important because you need to write down all the information, all your uh, citation there. So, uh, this is some example of schematic plan. So, you can see all this must have a certain meaning. So, it's good that to also to have arrow or oh, sorry uh, legend or maybe you can write down set to the uh, on the drawings so this is some example okay this is uh, more already uh, in the kind of presentation form so here maybe your final master plan or your prelim, prelim, preliminary plan so in the preliminary plan so basically we can't see uh, uh, so the space is more uh, refine eh? more detail so we can see how the space uh, spaces around the uh, walkway so we can see all this uh, plus with some uh, section and an image so this is one board of presentation so maybe in your first year or second year so you, uh, your lecturer will ask just come up with one AO or one A1 board so you need to organize all this so what you can see here it's almost 70% to 75% or 80% full with drawings. So you need to have a section. You need to have a, a plan, a big plan with the big scale. Then you need to have a okay a perspective to show some ideas. What is the focal point that you want to show up as uh, your main 
uh, space or main uh, attraction in your landscape. So in in in, uh, in this drawing, we can see the roundabout here, and you can we can see the detail of this column, and even you can see the concept of this column to become a focal point or landmark of this uh, particular park. This is another example of section. When you want to write or to draw a section, please choose a big scale. Big scale means if your plan is one to two hundred, don't follow the plan. Of course, it's very easy to, to follow the, the plan, right? Because you just use this line, then you can uh, extract from each point, then you just uh, develop the section. But the section must be visible. So in order for you to make your section here visible, you must use, you must use a big scale. Um, one to one hundred sometimes is we cannot see much, but if we, if this if the the area is very big, huh? so you have you can have a long section. But I suggest to you maybe one to one hundred, one to one hundred fifty. The best section is one hundred seventy five to one one to one to one hundred. So that is the uh, common scale that you can show all this character. For example, the playscape wor uh, world, the observation deck, you know, the tower pinpoint sculpture, right? So we can see all this detail as well as the shelter. Of course, this drawing is not so, uh, for me, uh, uh, really impressive, right? But at least uh, we can see uh, the completion of this work, okay? With all the uh, drawings, including plan, section, perspective, and text as well. So this is common. So we can have a scale, we can have a north point, we can have a title of the project there, and your name here. So, and you can see the green become uh, the backdrop of this, maybe from the base plan of this particular area. So you can see, you just use color of your particular site. You don't need to color everything. So you can see uh, outside of this uh, park, you can see the housing block. This is the housing lot. And you can see some building footprint. You don't need to color everything. You just focus on the master plan. And we can see uh, commonly our drawings is always uh, fully with uh, green and some. Here, normally we talk about coloring, uh, trying to use a light color for your walkway you know, to see the circulation. So we can see the circulation. This is a roundabout for the vehicle. And maybe they have some parking there. Then they have, a, I'm not sure, maybe a pool. This is a community garden with the swimming pool. And here, the, this is the playscape world. So we can see some equipment. Even you can see a section there. Can you see it, guys? Yes, yes. <clears throat> so we draw. When we draw, we need to design, right? We draw and we design and we show, isn't it? So whatever we do, a section is not just about a uh, re requirement for you to produce a section. Actually, you must have ability to understand that a section to show up your ideas. Bukan kerana kita buat section because of the uh, uh, requirement that you need to produce a two section. So you must understand that. That's why if you can produce a four section with a maybe big, if you go more bigger scale, of course that you need to show more detail in your drawing. So that's why in the section normally we can we use the one to seventy five, one to one hundred, or one the, the 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 large scale maybe we use uh, one to uh, one hundred fifty. Okay, two hundred is very small, even very hard uh, to see all these uh, landscape features. That's why the purpose of the section is to to show the landscape character of your uh, detailing especially from the uh, detail of your drawings okay so uh, from the master plan we can imagine that if we uh, walk from this point okay, around the garden so we can have we can see the bridge there so it must be uh, visible for everyone uh, to understand your work so this is the the bridge and this is the bridge so where is the bridge this is the bridge and this is also the bridge so we see from the plan to the section must be correlate okay? must be uh, reflect whatever you do on plan you also must show up in your uh, elevation or section and your perspective uh, your perspective to explain about the end beyond 
okay the whole ambience of that particular area and we just have uh, some text to explain the each area so this is some example compare with this you can see very loose okay you can have uh, some <coughs> uh what, what i can see is some Im improvement later on so even you can have the uh, evolution of your design you can show up part of your presentation because that will explain the process of your design okay <clears throat> this is uh, of course uh, this may be commission of manual and a computer i think this that is a manual that is manual and this is computer so again you can see a concept with a, with a section maybe we, we can't see much here <clears throat> so this is another uh, example of uh, your senior eh? Sarah Alia. I think she's uh, just graduated for her PhD for, uh, in, the, in the PhD program. So this is one of the A students. So the importance of presentation uh, drawing is about how you organize it. So you see that this this is one A one board. So you need to fill up mostly all the spaces around or within the uh, the board so it's no uh, uh it's no left space uh, left space it's no empty space so everything <coughs> you see from from this uh, top to the bottom you can see all uh, uh, fully with graphic explanation right and you can see the font this is of course in in computer but uh you must know that when when we use a, a font or type of form or sizes, it depends on the uh, uh, how uh, what, what what I can say the priority, so the significance of the title, the text, the explanation. So you must organize it. And here you can see the diagram. This is a, a concept explanation of the concept, one of arts. So you can see the very uh, some keywords there artworks of educate expressive artwork efficient artwork so so you explain the concept right and this diagram to explain how you will interpret from the concept to the plan and you can have also a small small diagram to indicate how you uh, develop or how you uh, create the foundation of this particular design For example based on the uh, uh, space integration the water play uh, space right the artwork okay and also uh, some concept ideas of plant pattern farm pattern sorry uh, farm pattern from west so this is kind of uh, even the circulation to show up how you circulate people when they visit the site uh, of course that with the title block you know the logo and the sheet number <clears throat> so this is important for you to organize as one of the presentation and I will suggest to you that don't uh, leave any uh, empty space in your board because of uh, when you have uh, many uh, some uh, information, so it's good for you, not just for you to present verbally, but also when you uh, show up or submit your drawing. So your drawing must be soundable. It's kind of your drawing. Your drawing can. Uh, able to explain your work so your drawing must be able to explain your work although uh, without uh, your verbal explanation so you must imagine that so you must organize the design strategy the title right the point then the concept so you can divide your sheet of paper into series of column yeah for example this is one column one column the three column there and you can see also the row. So you must organize all these text. So photo must be in the same format, okay, same sizes, right? Uh, so that's why when, when we see it, wow, it's well organized because of our eyes, uh, what I can see here, uh, detect the, the whole composition of this work. Okay, that's very common. So again, that you can see some coloring, uh, maybe later on you can also explore using uh, some graphic technique or software. For example, like uh, Photoshop, uh, Photo Paint. There are many kind of uh, color draw, right? Uh, adopt uh, Illustrator. So you need to explore because 
Later on, you need you can apply it for your presentation. So whatever you do now, in very open market, so you can search in the YouTube, right? How to use uh, uh, Photoshop, uh, Adobe Illustrator, because this is part of the skill that you need to equip for you to prepare for the for the work. AutoCAD, SketchUp, right? So this is another example uh, by her, Sarah Alia. So this is how uh, she uh, 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 explain the design ideas from the conceptual diagram, schematic diagram into the, this is preliminary master plan, schematic master plan, right? So you can't see much the detail yet because this is just kind of a, a draft. And here you can see also the schematic diagram to explain about the space making. Like for example, public art center, play area. So all this you need to organize as a space. So whatever we do, example, so this is kind of space that they organize. So then later on, you detail up a bit, huh, the space making there. So with the context, very good. So you can use the base plan or you can use uh, the Google Google image as your, as the context. Sometimes that designer need to see when you design this part, how this part can be integrated to the surrounding areas because integration is one of the important uh, this is uh, example to show up you know uh, when 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 you propose something how this future plan can be integrated with the surrounding for example the housing commercial block shops maybe you, you have another park there the, even the perimeter of road so you must imagine that when 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 you want to propose something, when they put it on the side, so how it look, it's going to look like later on, right? And this is some of the images, borrowed images, for example, like uh, rest area. So what kind of facilities should be there? So you, maybe you can browse some example or images from internet, but you must choose the right images. Normally, in the in the concept of and schematic, we are you are allowed to use all these borrowed images. But in your master plan, you need to propose, or you need to produce your own sketches or your own perspective. So this is some example, for example, the event area, eco areas, rest area, right? Activity, activity and experience areas. So you already divide into a series of zoning. They call it zoning, okay? So you can see, uh, this is a conceptual diagram. So you, the best thing you draw the schematic on the base plan because you can figure out how to integrate all these, uh, for example, the spaces, features that can fit in, fit in into the site later on. This is an example. So you also can uh, suggest the hardscape concept and also the softscape concept uh, in, in, in related to, to the master plan. So you can see from this board as well, it's all uh, fully uh, complete with the, all the diagram and drawings. This is this is uh, one of the uh, strategy for you to to produce a great work. So don't leave any empty space or white space. It's trying to uh, uh, manage well your drawing and fulfill all this empty space. So, uh, whether you want to put the uh, image of hardscape, softscape, uh, activities, yeah. So, uh, this is the detailed area. So, a part of the master plan, this is the whole master plan in a scale of 1 to 500. So, this is one of the example of the fi final project. So, in this exercise, also they need to choose a detailed area. So, detailed area, so one of the area, for example, uh, here, at this ent entrance plaza. So, so the authors or so we develop more detail in terms of the uh, material, in terms of the space making, parking space, some technical facilities there. So, and again, there are a lot of concept to support or images to support your design ideas in the, this master plan. This is detailed area plan. So, this is one the location plan to show up. Then, this is the detailed area plan here. So you can see so one level is master plan level. This is the master plan level. And second level is the detailed area level. So you can see the enlarge into the scale 
want to show is the scale later on you can see the DT area so this is the master plan so you can see uh, the selection of colors also very important so uh, on grass for grass normally we use a light green a little bit yellowish so you can see the type of trees there and you can see the pavement you can see the parking space so we must uh, able to imagine uh, the space that you want to create later on uh, not just about the park but also the entrance of the park so you can see this is uh, with the uh, paving pattern right as uh, create a sense of welcoming to this park it's very clear to show up uh, some uh, for example the circulation the walkway right and as well as the uh, uh, landscape uh, furniture uh, furniture such as the pavement the shelter okay so you must have a legend as well here can you see the master plan yes yes doctor. okay so this is using a uh, computer uh, graphic but i think manual also same so always associate green with vegetation use a light green for the uh, grass or lawn right so use a uh, bright color for the pavement because you, you can see more clear in, uh, to understand the circulation uh, whatever we do here it must come from this process so you must organize as a process in your design so when you want to explain it you must explain uh, in flow step by step okay for example how you got the concept your synthesis plan how you conclude from your study all right uh, from your uh, that data inventory and analysis so you come up with the concept so this is the kind of uh, uh, idea early ideas so you can imagine that how the, the designer uh, trying to extract from the concept into the master plan and this is the detailed area plan so what's what's so interesting about this because in this level of drawing you can see a bit detail of the central plaza even you can see the uh, le leveling right because the topography not uh, so much flat is a bit undulating so you can see the level of the uh, ter terraces terrace so you can see the zone so each zone will have a different uh, facilities so for example whatever we uh, you do you must organize it uh, the facilities for out outdoor art center facilities for the fitness station facilities for the uh, green zone yeah relax area uh, you can see the the graphic shows uh, graphic shows the uh, pattern of the development as well as the atmosphere of the landscape character so kita boleh bayangkan we can imagine that when you come here what thing that we can see how we can explore what kind of the memory that we we get so this is important as a designer uh, this is to show the section so you can see this is a section aa uh, maybe this is on the master plan. So it's good that to have a, a, a section for, um, that can uh, show up where you cut the section in the master plan. So, but this is fine. So here you can see the type of trees, right, with the sculpture. Sometimes you also need to choose the right color. So maybe you want to make a contrast of your sculpture. You want to make more outstanding. So maybe this uh, fella use the color. And you can see the bridge as well with the bedrock of the trees and the lawn. So then below here, you need to put all this text to explain the each space that you, 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 that you cut. Right? So the each space, normally you will explain some text there and how the landscape looks like. So again, that whatever we do is part of the design communication. It's again, it just to remind, remind you that drawing also will uh, give some impact, strong impact to your proposal. The, when you open up your drawings, people, hopefully people will impress with your work. This is a sign how people satis satisfy your, your product. So, uh, I'm, I'm just uh, using this uh, part of the, the material that to share but of course this is in the computer it's a lot of a lot of plenty of speed that you will learn later on in the next coming semester 
So from here we can imagine that how the graphic looks like, even the section of colors, scale. So we can see the 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 feature of the playground, right? The feature of the uh, entrance, it, uh, the feature wall. So your drawing must be soundable. Eh? It must be as uh, uh, able to describe whatever that you want to propose. And it's good that to also to have a uh, perspective. This is using a Lumion. So you can, uh, Lumion is kind of software to generate uh, uh, your rendering, especially on the perspective, uh, as well as other drawings. So again, this is a long section. Sometimes it's very tough for you to show in one section, right? So you can, you can use a long section like this because it's in PowerPoint. I just put it here. So this is uh, all complete, maybe a 2AO. This guy, this fellow uh, composed become a one presentation. So again, that the section to show up some important of the landscape eh, with the images. Okay, can we take a break five minutes? I want to take some drink. Is it okay, guys? Give me five minutes, I want to take some drinks. Hey guys, can we continue? Can we continue? Yes. yes <clears throat> okay. Uh, <coughs> this is one example. Um, and you must imagine that um, when this another uh, 
person present presentation this is uh, I, i i took this from the final final year presentation okay uh, it's again that a composition is very important how we compose our work right so uh, this is example of the um, study uh, the and the site event analysis and synthesis so even in manual i believe that you must organize when you want to put the data uh, inventory for example this is the uh, inventory of the uh, vegetation and also some microclimate analysis so this uh, building very conceptual building and this is the landform so you must know how to use a uh, right graphic okay uh, this is the inventory analysis and synthesis and we, we can see some suggestion here and this is on uh, on existing uh, vegetation plan and of course that when we do uh, an site uh, inventory uh, or analysis we must have a photo to show the actual character of that particular site kena ambil gambar lah then you need to have a uh, explanation there so the condition of the trees the position of the trees and what is what kind of the suggestion that you can make it and this is some example uh, this and so this is another type of drawings so uh, so the data that you display is very important to explain about some item of your analysis for example this is on the natural resources uh, vegetation okay this is another type of the uh, board in in the site inventory analysis and synthesis so it's about the uh, natural landform and this is a section of this particular site so from this uh, computer uh, work or from this plan so this author uh, or designer explain about the level of uh, existing uh, topography so from here uh, designer will think about where they want to uh, organize the space and maybe some uh, features as well for example when they, where they want to put the building deck or towers this this is important and you can see most of the space in this uh, board is already occupied with the drawings diagram right uh, labeling Uh, photo again so you need to organize all the photo okay color when you want to put uh, four you, you use the same size with the caption down here this is need, this need to be organized well okay and here you can see the title the sheet of the drawing yeah number of the drawings and this is another type of the analysis on the uh, circulation So this is part of the introduction of landscape architecture as well, uh, part of the site planning, eh? part of the site planning. So you go to the site, you just record whatever that you observe, then you need to analyze. Analyze means that where are the potential areas? So what the potential area that going to be? So you can suggest in your synthesis. So what is the synthesis? Synthesis is kind of recommendation or conclusion that you made from your uh analysis so analysis suggests that this is the best visual this is the best uh proposed circulation so that is the part of the kind of decision that you will uh make for the next uh, stage so this is some of the so you can have not just about the big plan this is the base plan no you, you, you don't have uh, drawings yet right it's just a uh, existing plan but here you extract some potential where is the could be a main entrance so you have a three entrances there and this is the main circulation and in the middle you can have a one important landmark there so you must imagine later on what kind of uh, detail that you want to put it as a landmark so even you can have a small plan to show not necessary to have a one big plan there if this is the empty space you can put here a some diagram a plan to show a connectivity between this example so every plan they must have a different interpretation yep different interpretation so each plan uh, uh, they have their own objective to explain about your design ideas later on or your analysis process again that Uh, the photo okay please 
organize, use the same uh, size, same uh, scale, but make it a um, uh, in 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 row example, yeah, with the sub statement down here. This is another of a uh, site inventory. Uh, so they just use a uh, Leo Leo Muni uh, uh, board of presentation in her uh, final thesis. So of course, but it's good that to see your seniors' work because later on you can see some guidance. Okay. So again, that the map, the photo, the ta uh, the table here, strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. So you must organize it. Yeah. Then you can have an overall synthesis plan down here to show all the recommendation. So what kind of space? What is it? Is there a new new linkages? Maybe you want to uh, enhance the existing linkages to become a main uh, entrance. So that's it in your, your synthesis must explain some ideas uh, on some suggestion, right? So this is the facilities and amenities plan. So you go to the site, you just record whatever that you find out there and put in the facilities uh, on the inventory plan. In the synthesis and analysis plan, you will start to explain what are the weakness, what are the potential, what are the opportunities, right? In the final, in, in, in the uh, schematic plan, you already organize it in the uh, some uh, zoning system. Uh, this is, uh, for me, very interesting to explain your concept. Again, that it's not easy to explain it, right? So you must have a concept, then you need to interpret it. Okay. Then later on, you uh, include in your uh, conceptual uh, ideas or conceptual plan. So you also can have uh, some symbol to show, to explain your concept, for example, a green integration. This green integration comes from the combination of natural landform, vegetation, water bodies, eco-friendly materials. So you use some icons. So whatever you do, if you can propose, you can, you can produce this kind of work. So we can see your work are well com uh, completed and also uh, comprehensive with all the work that you produce. You uh, need uh, to see the all uh, material or all uh, graphic uh, covered all uh, uh, board uh, space. There is some example. Uh, sometimes when we develop a graphic or of the schematic plan or concept, we don't need to just to have a big plan like this. It's not necessary for you to produce just one. So you can have a small, small plan to explain each component. For example, there's component of uh, circulation, component of parking space, component of the green habitat. So you can have a small, small uh, diagram to explain about your design ideas. This is an example of the uh, schematic plan. So the red color to explain about to show the circulation. This blue color potential to become a water or a pond or water feature. Then this uh, color uh, can be a space and this green can become a buffer. So without the uh, authors of this uh, drawing, we also can uh, understand through the drawings. Okay, this is an example of a schematic plan. So here is still in the schematic plan, you can see some images. So uh, on the schematic plan stage, we still can use uh, borrowed images. This is some example of the plant suggestion, uh, facilities, yeah, landscape facilities, landscape and arts. So all this just part of the images and need to be uh, translate into the drawing later on. Yeah, when after you make a final de decision. And this is in the final drawing. So on at here, uh, you can see the master plan. This is the master plan and this is the detail area. So uh, what are the different in detail area? You can see much more detail a bit. So all the landscape feature must be clearly uh, shown there. Okay. So you can see the, the gap of the some symbol of trees, water, lawn, and the building. And 
of course, that I said to you, the section is depend. If this is a scale one to two hundred, but if you, if you go more uh, details, cash, or details section one to one hundred fifty, so of course you can see more detail of this particular uh, uh, pro project. So detailing, I mean that detailing can come from, for example, the the, the towers, the viewing deck. So you can see the railing. You can see the uh, boardwalk, right? So section actually is uh, the uh, purpose of the section to pro to explain about your work and also the hierarchy of spaces. So each space, for example, a residential area, interactive sculpture garden, rain garden, and hotel. And here you can see walk in the forest, viewing point, and terrace garden, and the cafe. So this label, uh, labeling are impo important because to explain about the series of space making in the in the park. And and uh, to explain further, furthermore, uh, to use a, a digital uh, uh, perspective. So now you need to produce a manual graphic, but this is fine. So, but the concept is, is the same. It's just a matter on how you produce it. One in car, one in uh, a computer and one in manual. Is there any question so far, guys? Uh, so far, no question yet, Doctor. Okay. Uh, I hope that this is just sharing a session to you in the uh, presentation, how we produce a presentation. And you must understand, like I said to you, a section must be able. If you draw a section one scale, scale one to one to five, you can see more detail. You you draw a scale one to 100, you can see more uh, big detailing due on the large uh, scale. So the purpose of the section also to show the activities there. So sometimes a section without figure, without activities, we just see empty. So it's good that to have uh, some uh, human figure, uh, yeah, to show a bit of the character of the landscape that you will propose. This is uh, some example of the perspective or uh, from the, actually from SketchUp to the Lumion. Lumion is kind of a software that for the most students use for the rendering. So they complete the plan or the drawings on in SketchUp, uh, SketchUp software, then they translate into the Lumion. But you can see the perspective, you, if you can produce a various uh, perspective, it's very more easier to uh, understand your work. So this is another uh, concept. So there's uh, every author, they have a different type of style. This is another uh, students by, uh, I forgot the name, uh, Nur Amalina. So about the Palestinian in Kuala Lumpur. So you can see from the idea and concept, how is she explained uh, in terms of uh, translating all this concept to the master plan. So again, you can't see the empty space there on this board. And you can see all equipped with the text, diagram, uh, title there. Right, and some symbol. So, like I said to you, uh, in the master plan, you also can have uh, some tip, uh, 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 small uh, uh, drawing or plan to show certain uh, component. For example, this plan is about the green space. This plan is about transit network, and this plan is about the uh, pocket park or plaza in the city. So this is some this is a suggestion of the landscape planning for the street, so and followed by the images and also some uh, uh, perspective. Uh, this is a bit detailed. You can see the different type of technique. Uh, for example, a landscape uh, uh, for the walkable city uh, done by Noah Malina to explain um, this the detail area. I think. Uh, it's about the space making at this particular block. So you can see this block is empty before, and this is a parking space, and we remove the parking space and become a park. Okay, this is another example of the landscape master plan for Taman Tasik Neighborhood Park, uh, also by the final student. So you can see the, the level between the uh, Master plan and the detail plan, you can see a bit detail, and you can see some spaces uh, need to be uh, more uh, clear 
in terms of how you compose the landscape facilities there. So from here you can see the uh, uh, the buildings and maybe the the meeting room, toilet, right? And this is the outside of the particular area. When you do a landscape, try to avoid any buffer or barrier from uh, uh, indoor to the uh, outdoor areas. So this is another example of the graphics. Uh, so you can have some example of the vegetation, hardscape, softscape. Uh, even you can have a different type of mode on your perspective at night, uh, in the during a daytime. Yeah. Uh, again, you can see here it's a bit uh, more detail in the uh, on the plan. Uh, you can see the, even the buildings of the. I, I think this is the. The mosque, eh? landscape for the mosque. So this is the mosque and this is the landscape. So this is the de detailing of this area. So you can see the building and the, the mosque is there, right? So here, uh, it's on the office and some uh, readings, uh, I think. And again, that you need a great perspective. So you can see the different type of technique you can explore. So this is different technique. This is, another, this is more uh clear to see the ground level how is how the garden already uh, organized and we can see the pool as well there so the perspective will explain and show the landscape character so this is using a computer so uh, next week maybe onward i can share a bit on the computer technique But what I want you to see, this is the composition of the presentation drawings. So if your lecturer asking you about the presentation drawing, so you already know how to organize it, eh? your work, to manage your uh, all the material there. Eh? For example, the plan, the perspective, the section, and the diagram, right? Must be together. This is another example. Uh, one of a student in USM, I think, so again, that this is the uh, existing uh, uh, Google uh, Earth view, and now he add, he just add this uh, park to become a tourism spot, and this is the landscape there. Uh, a part of it you also can um, use the uh, what I call it the uh, section on the landform, okay, to show some of the. Uh, potential uh, of the site level and also some damage by maybe the photo explain the situation. So whatever we do in this presentation drawing, we must understand that what do you want to explain later? Apa yang you nak katakan? What, is, what are the messages that you need, you can explain uh, uh, later on? So again, you need to take many photos you can then combine with the plan section, then you you compile it, then you put into the A1 size. Uh, this is the morphology. And when you study about urban, so morphology is very important. So this uh, you must understand city of Malacca, maybe long time ago are different. So maybe the boundary also different. So that's why they start, start to change that. Uh, the morphology explain about the evolution of the space. So uh, in this design communication, we can understand the purpose. So every, everything you do in your site inventory, it could be part of the analysis and also synthesis. Again, that uh, the explanation, the 3D drawings. So this is uh, on manual. So you can see the diagram and the master plan is very huge. And this is the concept of the master plan. So always, uh, maybe this is not a final. We can call it call this drawing as part of the preliminary drawings. Uh, conceptual ideas is imp very important because to drive your design later, uh, of course, you need to have a great justification how you will in interpret the concept from uh, from the, the Ideas, basic ideas 
to the master plan. So you can see the whole composition of the work before you start the schematic plan. And this is interesting for me. So the landform is important, how you uh, produce a la uh, landform drawings. So this is some example to be followed. So you can see this is the section and this is the uh, some labeling. Yeah. And we can see some terrace. So this is, is this not a good perspective, but at least we can see some impression of the work there. Oops. Where am I? Uh, this is manual. So maybe, uh, of course, the text in computer, but the, you can see the drawings are all manual and with the some text there. So you need to organize not just about drawing, but you must have a good information for them to read, for people to read, for your audience to read. So you can have very quick uh, kind of a drawing. Uh, you can have a, uh, uh, some uh, evolution of your design work. Then this is a combination of analysis. So it's not just about one plan. You can have a two or three map together in one drawings. It depends on what is the purpose. Uh, this is some of the example. Uh, maybe the author not really complete with, with color, but at least we can see the uh, some work to show up the ambience or the landscape character there. So kita can uh, imagine that after you make a drawing, so you, pro you produce a perspective, right, or sketches to show the, the uh, ambience, eh, the landscape character there. Oops, what happened? Here just now. So back to this map. Uh, so I, I really encourage you to produce a various type of drawings. So maybe you can have a more clear picture on your design development. This is another very detailed, uh, the Fuan Stephens Park Kota Kinabalu. Uh, you can see the main buildings are light, using a light color, you know, this circle, semicircle, also, and also the walkway, right? Okay, this is another type of drawing where you want to produce detailing. Before you move to construction drawing, you can have a detailing uh, drawing to uh, explain to, to show the design character and again that with the handwriting you must organize here we need to put in one column there and you don't need to color everything you just uh, highlight some coloring of a particular uh, backdrop this is another type of project um, my uh, uh, my work in when I work in Singapore so it's a feature gate so you can see the labeling must be there, the gut house, the pedestrian, the vehicle gate, the, the typical fence. So this is common that we need to label, everything need to label based on the section. Don't label that in the section. You need to label outside of the section or plan. Okay, uh, this is another detailing. And that's why I really encourage you to do a lot of uh, ske uh, sketches, uh, you can improve all your work there. So here, this manual uh, drawing explain about how you organize all the, uh, for example, the text must be in in rows. You can see they, they draw the frame first, uh, then they just follow it, follow, okay? The section line must be clear there, and this is the section line of the, uh, on this map. So this detailed drawing or detailed development explain about the detailed images that you want to create. It's not easy, of course. So you can find out some uh, landscape, uh, the existing landscape and some uh, additional landscape. So you can see very clear also 
when they have uh, this uh, s s uh, bicycle uh, canopy, right, with the climbers, lighting, yeah, even the port. So if you draw more detail, you can see more reach of your design like this. Okay, this is another type of drawing. You can see uh, on the picture there, show the, the uh, pedestrian walk. And also down here, you can see people. It's more clear section to explain, to show up the design character, right? This is another what we call a design development. So uh, you, just, you already put some labeling there. Uh, for example, light, steel column, support spray, painted finish, tensile fabric, lighting feature. This is part of the uh, presentation. Huh? Drawings. This part of the presentation drawings. So again, this is on plan. So you need to color everything. You, you just color half. So then later you can complete your work. Okay, perspective. Very important. Maybe you need you need you can start on the A4 size landscape. Okay, coloring the to you is important because we show some detail material whether you want on board on uh, uh, even if, if, if you produce this kind of thing we can understand that the circulation and the all features there and must be support with the images so this is kind of a detail we can see uh, all the ground features look outstanding because of no canopy that that covered all the feature there Uh, so, of course, this is very detailed. You can have it, uh, inshallah. Uh, but, uh, of course, it will take times a bit, right? Uh, it will take times a bit because of uh, you need to have a plate uh, rendering. So, maybe you can uh, simplify uh, this uh, Im image later on if you want to follow it. So, you can see using a markers, uh, the, the stroke, you can see the grass. The lighting, uh, for example, this uh, water feature, right? Trees. So it's more detail. So you can see the type, even the type of water feature, uh, either uh, water spout, uh, water curtain, bubbler, even the type of water feature, also you can emphasize it. Uh, you can see this, I already show up some coloring last week. This is another uh, freehand, the master plan. So you can see a shadow, the dark shadow of the trees, all this vertical uh, landscape. Uh, this is another project. So you can understand that this is the plan and this is the images. So the map explains the type of uh, images that you, uh, to explain your design ideas. Sometimes in this stage, you cannot produce the, your perspective, so you just use uh, design ideas. Uh, you need to be sensitive in, in your drawings. So we must know how to uh, develop the structure, how to organize the structure. For example, this very simple is for the uh, pedestrian uh, walk or the covered uh, walkway. So you can have all this labeling must be put together like this. This is fine. So this example of the section as well. You can imagine that from the map here, uh, the plan through the section, big se uh, section. Right? So you can put some color. Okay. Uh, sometimes this is a final perspective, right? That, but Later, you can see this is the uh, schematic perspective. So very uh, light, you know, uh, just uh, to show up some character of the landscape. Uh, you need to practice this using your pencil, uh, pencil, technical pencil. So you can imagine that you just leave it all this line, the constructed line, you just leave it. Then they will, uh, uh, what I can say here, uh, 
you just leave it, then you can see this uh, kind of a work. Uh, it's very loose, but uh, really powerful in terms of explaining your design. So you can see the kiosk, you can see the pavement, the uh, potted plant. Yeah. So you can see you can uh, see some uh, example, good example uh, in the in, in Google or YouTube. So why not you practice uh, not just about drawing but also your text, the manual text there. Opening roof, roof plane, entry, screen features. So everything must be let, put uh, in labeling. So this is the building. Uh, we are assuming that this is a green, green uh, forest plant. So it's now, uh, uh, it's, it's not flowering trees there because you must imagine, you must know that when you put some colors, your, your drawing actually indicate what what are the perspective uh, later on in the rear side. This is another example. So you can see very simple color. So uh, this is one of the park. Uh, I think some somewhere uh, pocket park. You can see very simple coloring. Again, this this is uh, some uh, detailing. Yeah. So in order for us to convince our client, it's not just about presentation drawing, but also you can show up a bit on the uh, technical uh, drawings. But uh, normally, we will meet, uh, once in a week, we will meet and discuss about technical drawings. So again, that the, uh, the detailing to show the level, okay, the material there. Okay, you can also uh, see uh, some text we need to organize with the arrows. This is some of the example, okay? This is this is the 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 the, the, the main gate. So you so this is the uh, feature wall, eh? feature wall and the sitting there, the, the pergola. So if you have a project, so you also need to produce some detailing, some detail, including the the, the pond. Uh, I want you to see the handwriting. So this is part of the uh, practices so to improve your work okay sorry you can't see but again from here we can imagine that how the detail that because after this they need to produce a construction drawings okay, this is a design detail so construction drawing is more uh, detail with, with many dimension spec yeah but this is enough also to show the construction ideas. Yeah, from the pool, this is the, the swimming pool maybe, or the pond, so the overflow of the water come to this uh, pipe and then and uh, back to the uh, process of the water for the pond. Oops. Well, I think that's all. Uh, so from the graphic into the detailed drawings, so let me continue a bit here. Is there any question from you guys? Hello? No. Okay. Uh, maybe I want you. I want to show it to you. Construction drawings. Okay. This is an example of the A3 report. Uh, normally, we need to produce a, a report. So let me share a bit. Uh, so uh, our work basically in the computer more easier lah, because to organize. But now you are uh, working on man, man, manual. Okay, let me share. Doctor. Wait. Um, yep. For the A3 report or something like infographic style. Uh, or mm. uh, the one that you show us uh, just now, how to macam uh, kita agak dia punya keluasan tu macam kan kalau if in the laptop kan dia macam sama besar je kan? Uh, so you must imagine that on the A3 size, A1 size right? So you set in the PowerPoint example or the paper canvas size. So you set A1 or or uh, at you must imagine imagine that when you compose it, this will become your A1 or AO. 
you it you need to ima imagine that. For example, you said A1 right, in PowerPoint, so you must it's, uh, you must know when you put all the text for, with the font size, maybe 16, 14, so with the photo. So, for example, this is in A3 size. Or this also can be, I think, A, A1. To mm -hmm. if, you, if you have a big uh, paper canvas from the A1 to A3, it's more easier because the, the resolution of the image Maybe not uh, uh, not so much different, but if you if you prepare your work in A3, then you want to print A1 size. So maybe the the image or some images cannot be seen clearly because of the resolution are not enough to support. Uh, so you start with the big and the small. So this is example of the I think A1 size or A3. I'm not sure, but again that uh, as a report you need to organize it. Same with the board of the presentation. So you can see this is one of the example of the garden, the flora height parks. Yep. Uh, so this is all using a computer. So we, we must put all the labeling, you know, the, the, the arrow of the section. But it's no need to color everything. Else. So this is the service area. Okay. And you can see the section of the work. Uh, because you see the section you want to find, I'm not sure one to hundred because we can't see much the detail. If you draw scale one to two hundred, is more better. And followed by the normally we have a plan, elevation, or section, and also the images or the sorry the perspective. So you have a more uh, point of perspective to show the technique or the landscape character that you want to develop. Is it necessary for us to put the ISO or isometry in? <clears throat> yes, you can put the ISO. For example, this is another area view, or you can put like this isometry or isometry. Of course, this is already in color, so you can't see much, mm -hmm. right? So this is for the area view. So one, you can have a plan, like this plan, right? a plan to show all the uh, composition yeah, of that particular feature. The schematic plan, you can see this is the schematic idea, zoning. Then you can have a section of the master plan. Then you start working on the detail area. Mm. All right. Okay. So, of course, this is in computer, but manual also the same. It's just a matter to change into the manual mode. Of course, you need to, you know, uh, more uh, extra time compared with computer. You need to spend more time. Than computer, but it's good to to learn. So that's why you need to uh, brush up your manual. Then you can transfer into computer. This is example. Uh, what I want to show you again the technical drawing. So let me. This is some uh, this construction drawing. So just now I just show uh, the presentation drawing, right? Uh, manual, computer, sketch, the, the type of plan, preliminary plan, schematic plan, conceptual plan. But also this is uh, another important whereby you produce a technical drawing. Uh, let me. So, Dr. Fadi, is there um, the specific? Is there any specific skills for the grid? Skill of the grid, the grid on this on this technical drawing. Uh yes. Uh of course. Uh basically, they use uh, like uh, ten meters uh, each each block ten meters. So this is a stacking plan. The uh, example mm -hmm. of we want to even to develop, you must have a setting, right? Uh, mm. Let me let me open up a bit some uh, references. Excuse me. All right.
Okay, normally in the construction drawing, uh, okay, this is the title of the all the construction drawing. Okay, this drawing important for us to construct on site, right? Uh, after we develop all this, the master plan, the detailed area plan, then we need to produce a construction drawing because this construction drawing is a main reference of our construction uh, uh, construction work. For example, we need to propose a hardscape detail, uh, setting out uh, the, the setting up plan, right? Right, the grading plan, drainage plan, all this construction of the hardscape as well. Uh, just now I show you the setting up plan. This is the setting up plan. So, for example, this scale you can use a 5000 or 10,000 uh, mm uh, or 10 meters. So, from there, they can extract, for example, this is one, two, three, four. This A, B, C. So, how to consult the open line so, or the features? So, they, they will follow all this reference. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a grading plan uh, to show the level. So you can see the contour and the level. So just now I show the setting up. That's why you can see the grid. Then you can omit, uh, you can hide the uh, uh, grid line. So you just focus on the some uh, drawings. This is just to show the leveling. Mm. It's not leveling and level, uh, grading. Grading to show the, the, the level of the uh, proposed to design. This is an example of the drainage plan. So maybe you can have subsoil drain, a monsoon drain, right? Then you can also have a hardscape plan. For example, the, the pavement, the shelter, so the pergola, right? The hardscape plan. Then you can you can also have a lighting plan. Yes, I explained that lighting plan also produced by landscape architect. So you must you, you must know how to select a good uh, lighting uh, and also to put where to put the light the lighting. This mm -hmm. is a lighting plan. You can see the this is the format on the right side. You can see the title, the client logo, and the scale, yeah, the drawings, and check by. what happened oh lighting you can see because it's too sharp you see that's see the shrub normally we have a two type of lighting one uh detail planting detail planting normally we show the ground covers and, and shrub uh medium sh uh, shrub or low shrub then we can have uh, 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 structure structure planting structure planting it's more a big trees, for example, all the big trees like palm, bamboo, trees, they only call it a structural planting. A detailed planting plant is more like a, sh a shrub, ground covers. Yeah. So this is an example of the, uh, <coughs> uh, of the detailed planting plant. Uh, a part of it, so we only we also need to produce uh, some construction uh, uh, material or sorry, construction features. For example, the water feature. So what sort of the water feature that you want to create there? Right, a section. This is not to, to, to be constructed. So that's why dimension, di dimension is all important there. Yeah. And another part this is the detail of the uh, signage. So this is all the technical drawing you don't, you don't need to color, yeah, right? So you just uh, produce a technical uh, drawing or construction drawing. Then you can put all the format at the on the uh, left side. So the, the contractor will use this as part of the document. So the contractor can, will normally they, they have this is the main reference of uh, for them to refer to be referred. Uh, it's a detailed construction drawings. Okay, is there any question? So I will share some information of this. 
okay in, in the whatsapp group so this is i think the our construction uh, uh sorry this is a part of the uh, presentation drawings of the landscape uh, architect in 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 in, 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 in practice all right is there any question guys mm, so far no doctor everything's clear okay. I will share this material to you. If not, uh, I will meet you back uh, in our uh, next class. Uh, what, what time? 3.30, right? Yes. Okay, for the in introduction, I will continue about park design and some other important as well. Okay, if, if not, thank you very much to everyone. Let me open up this uh, uh, attendance form. All right. I also will take a picture and I'll stop you guys later. Okay, I'll make communication. So can you see the QR code? No, yeah, I think. Not yet. <laughs> Okay, can you see the uh, QR code? So hopefully you can scan it first. So let me. All right, uh, those who already scan, so we can uh, you can leave. So thank you very much to everyone. So hopefully we meet again this uh, afternoon at three thirty. All right, like.